The iPhone 5S gets close confirmation by some carriers. Screenshots of a Galaxy Gear companion app surface and HTC's new smartphone accessories make you wonder if you'll ever need them. I'm Jaime Rivera, and about the only accessory I need on a Friday is a bottle opener and you know what for. This is Pocket Now Daily. Today is a day full of rumors, so let's begin with the smartwatch, especially the Samsung Galaxy Gear that's slated for IFA. We're still wondering what exactly this smartwatch is going to do that's special, and as it turns out, we've got some leaked screenshots of the smartphone companion app. So yes, this is just going to be a companion. Stay tuned for IFA, it's happening next week. But aside from that, Motorola had already taken a stab at a smartwatch with the Moto Active, and it flopped terribly. Sadly, and now we've got some leaked photographs of a new patent where they're going to be tracking your eyeballs with their future smartwatch. So let's see how that one flops with your eyeballs. And speaking of IFA in Berlin, we've seen a lot of leaked photographs, a lot of them blurry of the Sony Honami smartphone, and we finally get a gallery of the phone. You can finally see what it actually looks like. And yes, links in the description for the full gallery. I'm not going to post it here all because it's big, but most importantly, we are getting this 20.7 megapixel staggering camera. Let's just hope this time it delivers, though. Now let's talk about the iPhone 5S or exactly whatever it's going to be called. We don't really know, but we're assuming this because we had the iPhone 3GS and the iPhone 4S and every other year we get the same phone with an S and a couple of better specs. But as it turns out, Japanese carrier AU by KDDI has pretty much confirmed their leak that the phone will be called this way. Apparently they've already posted some support documents that have to do with the phone. So uh, iPhone 5S it is. Let's just hope that it's much better than just some voice recognition thing like we had the forest. Now, a very unexpected leak for this week is the fact that we've seen Intel try to do processors for mobile phones for the longest time, and they haven't really succeeded anywhere so far, but we've got already some leaked documents of an Intel smartphone, and just how credible is that? Well, it's already in the FCC. It's already being tested. We don't have any details on this phone specifically, no name, no specs, nothing just yet, but let's just hope that Intel can figure out the phone better than just one of its parts. Though I doubt that. And finally, for the odd news of the day, HTC has just held an event where they have announced two accessories for your smartphone, the HTC Mini Plus and the HTC Fetch. The Mini Plus is pretty much another mini. It's pretty much a dumb phone that connects through Bluetooth to your smartphone. It'll cost you 80 bucks, and the only idea is that instead of pulling out your smartphone, you pull out your dumb phone, which we still can't figure out what for, especially for that price tag. And then on the other hand, the Fetch will allow you to track your phone, but it's actually a gadget that'll cost you 40 dollars to do pretty much when you can do with an application currently. It'll make your phone ring like you can with some Google services now that are completely free. So that leads me to the question of the day. Do you see any point in these two accessories, the case of the Fetch or the case of the Mini Plus? You know, in my particular case, honestly, if you live in a country that's not safe, like where I live, for example, then yes, the Mini Plus makes sense, even though, trust me, they'll steal the dumb phone and the smartphone at the same time. They won't just take one of them. And in the case of the Fetch, I mean, it's probably too little, too late, and just too expensive, but leave us a comment down below. Do you see any point here? As always, for an earlier scoop of everything that's happening in the smartphone, it's our world. Make sure you follow us on PocketNow.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. You can also follow me on Twitter at Jaime underscore Rivera. You can also watch our new video segment of the PocketNow Daily Recap, where we cover all of your comments throughout the week. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. We will see you next week.